Hi folks, so I've just got a quick video here today to talk to you a little bit about DuckDuckGo or more specifically light.duckduckgo.com uh, You don't necessarily need the, the light bit at the end um, you can just type in light.duckduckgo.com and it'll get you there um, but yes, uh, this is a light version of DuckDuckGo and it really is about as uh, simple as all that so if I were to type of course the name of you know the great British... Uh, city of Birmingham here. Um, it will give us some information on Birmingham. Visit Birmingham.com, uh, Birmingham on Wikipedia, Birmingham City Council. Pretty much stuff you'd expect for Birmingham. Uh, we go to DuckDuckGo or light, DuckDuckGo Light, light.duckduckgo. I don't know how you pronounce it right. You go to Birmingham and it gives you pretty much the same results. Birmingham City Council, uh, Birmingham Wikipedia, University of Birmingham, Visit Birmingham, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, I have got to admit, I've not necessarily found DuckDuckGo to be particularly heavy in terms of resources, but I do tend to run reasonably, you know, speedy enough machines, but certainly nothing uh, cutting edge. And in fact, this desktop machine that I play my games on and, and, and do all my video stuff on, to be honest, this is not as new as it used to be. Um, but I've certainly managed to get the mileage out of it. But yeah, I certainly have not had problems when it comes to uh, browsing web uh, websites in particular, least of all uh, DuckDuckGo. But for those of you that would like a slightly more minimalist experience, uh, bearing in mind, of course, Birmingham has like there's there's images of Birmingham and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, whereas with DuckDuckGo, you are just looking at all of that. You get regions, so you can set your region, you can... Yeah, select the date, that's kind of useful. Um, but yeah, minimalist DuckDuckGo, uh, which is kind of cool. Now, all things considered, um, and I'm not an expert on, on DuckDuckGo by any stretch of the imagination, but DuckDuckGo seems to be like an aggregator of um, uh, search data from, from larger providers, namely Bing, but I could be uh, somewhat wrong on that. Um, but it's not like gathering its, you know, its own um, sort of map of the world wide web as uh, as you like as the likes of google and, and microsoft do but um and it's it's also as, as far as i understand it, not open source the only open source uh search engines i can think of or that are talked about on this channel are circs s-e-a-r-x uh which is uh, just an open source proxy or like an open source implementation of um uh, an open source front end for other for other uh, search engines. So we've got Circs here, uh, Circs dot me, and that gives you a list of public public nodes, and then uh, you can go to public instances, uh, Circs dot be. Okay, and that's what Circs looks like. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then we can go to Birmingham. Oh, this one's a bit slower. Um, yeah. But then again, I guess being, you know, a little bit open source, also not being on a, you know, I, I don't necessarily know where this particular Circs server is held. It could be something to do with the server. It could be something to do with software. I haven't got a clue. But there we go. Birmingham, Wikipedia, University of Birmingham, and then all the same on DuckDuckGo as well. Now, whereas I don't consider DuckDuckGo to be like a, a systemic change from search engines, it has always concerned me that like Google do seem to have this, f like a monopoly on this huge facet of human knowledge. Uh, and that seems to give it a tremendous amount of power, even if it is benevolent, having that much power in the hands of a corporation, which for all intents and purposes is a machine, like corporations, especially the size of Google, they're just machines. You know, they just operate in the way that they're programmed to in, in many ways. Um, and, and when a uh, competitor to something like a Google product comes out, um, if it doesn't offer like a systemic foundational change, I can only like consider consider it marginally an improvement um, at best, really. Um, so, and I, and I do think I put DuckDuckGo into that category. Circs is a little bit different because, again, it's not necessarily um, a systemic change in terms of how the how the map of the internet is is collected or map of the web is collected, but it is at least offering something that is open source. Now, if I remember correctly, I do believe that you can get the uh, the open source uh, you can get the DuckDuckGo browser for your mobile phone uh, which is open source so it's not like they're particularly uh, open source hostile but um, uh, but yeah uh, it does seem to me that DuckDuckGo is uh, 
almost trying to sort of uh, make its name off of the back of being not Google. And I don't think that in and of itself is, is, is enough, in my humble opinion. However, I'm getting a little bit off track, DuckDuckGo Lite. It's like DuckDuckGo, but lighter. So uh, stick that in your pipe and smoke it, I guess. But uh, yeah. I thought it was mildly interesting and just wanted to make a video about it, uh, make something that wasn't too video gamey. But thank you very much for joining me. It's a pleasure as always. And of course, if you want to check out all the stuff that I do, chrisware.uk is the place to go. Look at that new font. Isn't that wonderful? I've actually made it uh, so that it's, um, if I uh, zoom out, there you go, fixed width again. There we go. Someone asked me to do fixed width and um, I gave it some thought and I thought, yeah, why not? So there we go. And then there's a list of all the stuff that I do on other sites, including my photography um, and then PeerTube, Twitter and mostly general posts on Mastodon. That's where the best place to find me is. So and also RSS feeds on stuff that I do. If you like to hear what I have to say, but do not care for social media, um, my tech and general posts are available on RSS, as is my photography. So you don't have to necessarily be part of the social networks that I'm on in order to follow me. Isn't that nice? So, and also, yeah, there's RSS feeds for videos on my site as well. So all the all the gubbins that's fit to read is right there. So thank you folks very much for joining me. It's a pleasure as always. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Toodaloo.